how important was it for you guys to get this win against Visitation? Uh, I wouldn't put any. I wouldn't put too much value on one win over another. Visitation's a great team, great kids. Uh, the girls know each other. A lot of them play together in club and rec and youth, and and so it's fun to have a nice rivalry game against uh, friends of yours, and you know they hang out together off the field and that sort of thing. Um, so I mean, for us, you know, this is a nice win, but we got good counsel mark in the conference game, so we're focused on that. In terms of kind of figuring out the upper echelon in the area, um, you know, visitation, you guys, good counsel, St. Stevens. How how does this kind of help you guys? build confidence with a win like this? So for us, I mean, we uh, our goal is to uh, play for championships. We want to play for a WCAC championship, we want to play for a state championship. So we constantly talk about winning six games in May. So we're not concerned about polls, we're not talk, we're concerned about upper echelon, we're concerned about winning six games in May. Talk about the offensive production today. It seemed like you guys, like your players were saying, you get the draw you score. Yeah, and so our girls played really smart today. Um, I'm very, very proud of them. Uh, we talked before the game that two keys for the game today for us would be draw controls, and that's obvious in every game, and playing smarter. Um, in earlier games, we've made some silly mistakes, and we've thrown the ball away unnecessarily. We didn't do that today. We took care of the ball. We're smart. We worked our possessions, and we took advantage of scoring opportunities when we had them. We knew also at halftime they were going to make a run, and we talked about it. You know, We said it's not going to be easy, uh, and the score's not going to end with us winning by four. Uh, and we just talked about being ready to weather the storm, deal with adversity, um, and just power through at the end. And then the defense in the last couple minutes, Olivia's save. I mean, just talk about their effort. Yeah, I've been coaching Olivia for five years. She makes big plays in big games and big situations. That's just what she does. Um, and so I actually said to the coaches with about three minutes left, um, when I think I believe they had tied it up, and, I, and uh, we were getting a little bit nervous, and I said, watch, she's going to make a huge save for us at the end of the game. It happens every time. She's a big-time player in big-time situations. So you admit this is a big-time game, then? Uh, I mean, you know, it, it, it's any game where it's 12-12 you know, with three minutes left is a big-time game. It's a big, tough, competitive game. And then the draw, talk about, the, it was a freshman you had on the draw, right? Yes. Just her play as well. Uh, Kayla Duprezel has just been a, a difference maker for us this year. She really has. Um, our team wouldn't enjoy the success we've had so far um, without her play at, at the, at the, at the face-off X. Um, the girls on the wings are doing their job and getting to the ball, and um, we've really put a priority on that. Uh, we've brought in this coach to work with us exclusively on draws. His name's Barry Malco, um, and he works with a lot of the girls in the off season. He works with them in the winter. He comes to the indoor games. Um, you know, he works with us at the beginning of practice for 45 minutes every day. The draw is a priority for us, and we brought in a guy just to focus on that for these types of situations. Last year, you, you guys were really young. You had some injuries in terms of age experience. We're still young. We got two seniors on the whole squad. So junior heavy, sophomore heavy? Or? Uh, spread out. Um, you know, we, we play regularly about five freshmen, five, six juniors, and five sophomores. Um, and we have two seniors who play regularly. Uh -huh. Great. Thank you. Great. Appreciate